วัสดีครับ I'm Michael Neal, your host. Welcome to Thailand today. Electronic waste or e-waste is the disposal of used electrical or electronic devices. As these devices have become indispensable for people around the world, with most people using them daily, the amount of e-waste has increased drastically, including for countries like Thailand. So, what kind of efforts are being made to reduce e-waste? Today, we speak to Associate Professor Dr. j a k r i t s u t a k o n Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, Mahidol University, and Assistant Professor Dr. k r i s a d a a s w a s k u n k i a t Vice Dean for Cooperation and Social Responsibility of Mahidol University, about a project known as EGMU Mobile Battery Charger. Which was created from electronic waste. So, a d i k a p thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've had the chance to sit down with engineering professors. Um, first off, uh, just to give us a bit of background, uh, how big of a contributor to waste in Thailand is e-waste in particular, and, and why is it an issue? Okay, so actually, we have been heard about the word uh, global warming. And also sustainability, and actually, we have heard about that uh, uh, iceberg uh, glaciers, the ice uh, in the North Pole and South Pole has been uh, melt a lot, and that create the problem in our ecosystem, especially for the uh, weather. And so that's the part of it. e w a s t is actually another thing that even deeper and more important. Because each day, uh, one of us may create the uh, e-waste about seven kilogram. Okay, if you talk about the whole world, we have like seven point six billion people. Mm -hmm. So we talk about millions of tons of uh, e-waste. Uh, for Thailand, actually, uh, from the Department of the Pollution Control, uh, they have the statistic number from last mm -hmm. year that uh, we have about four hundred thousand tons. Of e-waste happen a year per year in, so in Thailand alone. In Thailand alone, yes. So only uh, portion of it, maybe 20, 30 percent, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, we do something with it. Okay. So this is a kind of the big issue, and mm -hmm. soon, of course, uh, we know that n o w t h e y we turn to be in the digital world, right? And it will become more and more if we don't uh, consider about. How we can handle it, so it's kind of very important. C okay. Can you give some examples of some uh, common types of e-waste? Okay, actually, you know, simple. Everyone now have mobile phone. Right. Within a few years, you already out of date, so you want new one. So those some may be reused, some may be not. Mm -hmm. That becomes something that part of the e-waste in computers, in electronics mm -hmm. uh, equipments, and so on. Badly and everything. This is we can see every electronic thing around ourselves. So it's very really important. Mm -hmm. yes. Right, and especially with people using more and more electronic devices, we'll yes. keep generating more and more e-waste. Yes. yes. Um, what, what makes it hard to to recycle in particular? Is okay. it because there's so many elements? So actually, there are uh, uh, several components into mm -hmm. the electronics equipment, like a uh, device and so on. Some of it they may uh, made from the uh, some sort of the metal, some are dangerous, some are mm -hmm. good, and also including like a part of the things that like plastic. And if we burn it, we get another trouble. Uh, if we right. uh, did not uh, use it properly or solve the problem properly, maybe we put in the let's say we uh, kind of solve the problem by in the other way. Maybe it create another problem in the mm -hmm. other way. So this is. Is and the the usability of this thing. A lot of people now, a lot use mm -hmm. it come faster than we. Uh, ah, right. Remove Because it. you can't process it using normal conventional methods. Right. Like you can't right. just burn it all, or you can't just put it into a landfill uh -huh. because there's right. lots of toxic substances. Yes. Um, in helping to ease the situation, uh, there's this concept of a circular economy. Um, how is how is this important to Thailand? Okay, uh, I I will stick with this thing a little bit. So, mm, circular sure. economy uh, is actually is a new scheme about the uh, 
uh, how that we proceed our economy system. Mm -hmm. So it will involve with the, uh, the way that how that we can uh, make the efficiency of what that we have, especially to reuse or do the thing with the, our national resources and so on. So we heard about the word 3R, reduce, reuse, recycle, mm -hmm. and this is a part of the, of the uh, circular economy. Oh, okay. So uh, that yes. I see. Uh, so we talk about e-waste. Some of it actually still can be reused. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in the original way that it has been made for, yep. but it can be changed or reused mm -hmm. or recycled in different ways. So this is kind of scheme that we talk about the circular economy, which is also can create a new value and so, mm -hmm. yes. Well, speaking of new value, can you give us an overview of the uh, EGMU mobile battery charger? Okay, the overview of this project is from our mission of our faculty mm -hmm. to recycle and transform the old unwanted device, such as uh, the old TOT telephone booth mm -hmm. and to make a grid new for community. Then the new one is mobile battery charger and which is energy is from solar system. Yeah. Um, how did this project come about? Like what inspired you to create this project? Um, it's come from um, in the past our team um, observed in, in public hospital and there was serious problems about waiting time of patient waiting for their doctor mm. and a problem about their mobile battery. So this is a way of reusing old stuff to yes. charge batteries. It's yes. just something that everybody probably does these days is they uh -huh. need to charge their batteries. Um, why did you focus on, on telephone booths in particular? Um, because I think um, everyone must have mobile phone, mm -hmm. and when you have, um, when you first about empty battery, uh, especially in public hospital, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the, uh, this mobile charger boot can solve this problem. Mm -hmm. Now I know uh, Mahidon has a really strong academic focus in, in engineering. Um, what are some other interesting projects you guys are working on? And can you, can you talk about them? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, actually, so we are uh, quite uh, focused on uh, certain topic mm -hmm. that what it we, we are good and we are trying to do our best on. Like uh, actually, Mahidon University, everyone uh, may know about that uh, we, we are medical oriented university. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of resources that relate to the uh, medical related uh, things. So our engineering may focus and push forward, especially that it's about healthcare. So mm. what we call the healthcare engineering. So other thing else uh, that we try to uh, make of what that we are good about, like uh, the word sustainability, right. okay? So we have uh, electronics, we have uh, electrical engineering department, we have uh, uh, people that work on uh, uh, thermals and also uh, energy things. So this is uh, something that actually we try to apply what we are good mm -hmm. into the focus point and, and this is also a part of it. Okay. Uh, furthermore, than just to do things about the academics and research, mm -hmm. how do we contribute to the so society? Right. This is an important thing. And actually, it's not just only about uh, Mahidon as a, we have our motto, wisdom of the land. So mm -hmm. engineering, we try to use what we know, what we are good about, technologies mm -hmm. that make the impact to the society. Okay, so this part is actually, we have a very good collaboration with the, like uh, the company, like TOT company. So yeah, they have a lot of, this is things that is already dis disrupt, like a telephone booth. And they have a lot of it, like thousands of them. Yeah. Uh, how can we make this thing to be useful and more valuable? Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, Dr. Chris Da mentioned, uh, this is what that we work on some other thing and involve and we see uh, with the, in the hospital, actually we work some other project and mm -hmm. we see this is another need pain point. Why don't we 
just combine this thing from what we can do. Ah, of course. Okay. So actually, this uh, project is actually an example. Okay. There are many things that uh, we involve with the academy prayer and also society need with. And so, yes. Uh, uh, we're just going to take a quick break, um, but we will be back with more of Thailand today. Don't go away. COVID-19 warriors. We will not give up. Thank you for protecting us during the COVID-19 crisis. Thank you to the chefs who kept people full. Thank you to the dancers who helped create happiness in this dark period. Most importantly, thank you, the Thai people who have bravely endured this epidemic together. We will not give up. We can and we will to redefine the future of our nation. Let's join hands, COVID-19 warriors. Welcome back. You're watching Thailand Today. We continue our discussion with Associate Professor Dr. Jakrit Suthakorn and Assistant Professor Dr. Krisada Asawasakun Kiat from the Faculty of Engineering, Mahidon University, on reducing e-waste in Thailand. I, I understand EGMU battery charger projects use solar cells to charge mobile phones. Can you, can you explain exactly how solar cells work? Like I know they take in energy from the sun, but what do they actually do with it? Uh, I think uh, from solar energy mm -hmm. is uh, the good for environment and uh, it's truly the renewable energy mm -hmm. source in Thailand. There is plenty of sunlight right. from research. Uh, half of an area in Thailand uh, will get average intensity of sunlight about 18.2 megajoules per square meter mm -hmm. per day. Uh, I can take this advantage. It, it, was there some other form of uh, renewable energy that you might have considered for this project? So why did you choose solar versus, say, wind power? Oh, okay, uh, I think uh, from, from uh, prototype, mm -hmm. five project, five slot of uh, creative new. Uh, mm -hmm. When installed at public hospital, uh, they can work really good for mm -hmm. staff. Ah, yes. uh, okay. So does the actual solar cell, it, it's within the hospital or it's outside the hospital uh, and it sends energy to the booth? Always in the in hospital. Oh, I see. Yes. So it's just the light that comes in from outside that hits the booth yes. and charges it. Oh, okay. Um, how long does it take to fully charge a phone using, using this booth? Okay. Um, from the data, about uh, 20 minutes and all type of mobile phone can be charged, yes, to fully mm -hmm. it. Really? Yes. And how many stations have, have you installed so far? Uh, the first project, there are five slots uh, to five hospitals, mm -hmm. yes. Each and hospital have has you planned to only one. grow this? I think in this year, uh, maybe up to 40 slots. Mm -hmm. Has the response been been fairly positive from people, or yes? Where do you see this going into the future? Do you, is there a, like a phone booth charger 2.0, the next <laughs> version, the better version, or or is there another way that you can see of um, using e-waste to to turn into something new like this? I think um, maybe in the next project, I can develop in in the new technology mm -hmm. uh, for fast chart and can make uh, many, many slot to mm -hmm. chart and expand it to a center of community uh, mm -hmm. such as many local market mm -hmm. or a uh, border school in rural area of Thailand. Ah, of course, yeah. right, where it's more difficult for them to have an infrastructure for that yes. sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned uh, Mahidon has a, you know, obviously a, a strong uh, medical focus, and you've got your engineering department as well. Um, 
What can you tell me about um, what is it? The uh, medical technology. Like, where, where do you see this heading? Do you think? Do you think in our future maybe we can expect automated healthcare? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Actually, uh, this is like I said. Actually, the best idea from what we use, what we have, mm -hmm. as the most, right? So actually, so far we, especially in this time, we have the pandemic things going on. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been involved with uh, our local, uh, our university hospital, yep. and also in the public too, that to help um, develop some certain thing, even protocol, that to help in terms of the uh, screening and do things with the COVID. But uh, normally what we do, we do well before, even before pandemic uh, things going on. Uh, we actually, we develop sort of the technologies in various fields mm -hmm. that relate to medical, like uh, uh, to do the medical things, it's about uh, prevention, mm -hmm. diagnosis, okay, therapeutic, like surgery and treatment and so on, and also rehabilitation, mm -hmm. okay. So there are a lot of uh, equipment, innovation, protocol, based on the engineering design and idea to work collaboratively closely with the doctor and physicians. So this is uh, our strong part. Mm -hmm. So there are some certain things, actually some of them uh, already become sort of the uh, product or near product, near commercializing. Some we have a startup company. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of uh, parallel uh, things that we do, not just only in the medical, but also what about the society. So from, from what that we mentioned about the EGMU mobile mm -hmm. phone charger, yep. um, this is uh, it's kind of the uh, example initiative of the scheme mm. for this part for EWS. Mm -hmm. okay. So furthermore, of course, first five, uh, Dr. Uh, Krishna launched for five uh, mm -hmm. booths, and then right now we got a lot of requests come in, and yep. more and more people would like to involve in terms of the support sponsor it and so mm -hmm. on. So of course, uh, technology is not just stop and stay, we move forward. There are a lot of things that involve with the e-waste, which is, like I said at the beginning, it, we need to concern mm -hmm. about this. It impact to our global things, like uh, sustainability things. So this is important. So that kind of big picture that we have here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I mean, speaking of, of e-waste, of course, one of the most important questions was be, would be, mm. uh, how do we reduce our okay. e-waste? Okay, so if we talk about, uh, it's, it's involved with uh, people in every sector. Mm -hmm. First, if we talk about like consumer, uh, normal people like me and everyone. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we con consider to, let's say, purchase something, buy some uh, electronics, or, we should pay attention a little bit. Mm -hmm. If it has a, uh, there are a lot of the uh, organization that certify about the green uh, things, mm -hmm. and this is a recycle, reusable, and so on. Right. So this is the part that consumer can take part. Next, about the manufacturers. So actually, we can uh, help to concern about what the material how that things that to be made and can be reused, right. can be replaced, mm -hmm. can be add on and so on. So that's a scheme that manufacturers can mm -hmm. take part of it. And as an uh, educator, so we should educate and have more information to the public, mm -hmm. student and other people about how we can live with the better, uh, let's say that the waste and how mm -hmm. to treat it and especially for e-waste it will become more and more important. Like I said, yeah, it's, it's growing quick, fast. Right. Yeah. Digital world is coming and it's important. Yes. That's, a, that's a very uh, interesting solution, actually. The yes. fact that instead of changing behavior, you just change the product just to make it better so that it, you, know, you, you use renewable parts or you use, right. you use stuff that you can just put in a landfill and it'll disintegrate. Right. Um, maybe plastics that, that can uh, biodegrade. I mean, no, we're, yes, we're hearing yes. some, you know, some yeah, uh, research into that field right now, which is quite interesting. Right. Um, is there anything else that you would like to talk about in terms of e-waste in particular? So the e-waste is actually, uh, is 
it's good that the 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 government concern mm -hmm. uh, last year that we have a new uh, regulation about that we will not uh, let the uh, import e-waste into country so that's important oh did we used to import uh, e-waste into, into it's China? actually there was no kind of the regulation oh there was no law against it, it. Uh, ah. so but anyway that's that's a kind of good move that the, yeah. the Thailand the Thai government that actually concerned mm -hmm. and that actually not just only about the government but Thai people and everyone mm -hmm. should concern for yeah. us for the world too so this is a kind of the awareness that if I have to leave the uh, short note before we stop the discussion so awareness about EWS, it mm. needs everyone to help and involve, yes. Yeah. Maybe if you'd like to add. Especially in school, in primary school and secondary school, mm -hmm. to give the knowledge about to reduce yeah. EWS, this is one of the best way to reduce it. Mm -hmm. So just be more mindful when you're buying electronics or just buying parts that can't just be sent to landfill, can't be processed. Mm. Yeah. That's a, that's a good note to leave it on. Um, thank you so much for, for coming in. I really enjoyed our discussion. Uh, unfortunately, we've now run out of time, but thank you so much to Associate Professor Dr. Chakrit Subhakon, Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, Mahidoni University, and Assistant Professor Dr. Krisada Asawa Sekunkiat, Vice Dean for Cooperation and Social Responsibility of Mahidon University, for joining us today and talking to us about efforts to reduce e-waste via the innovative solution of the EGMU Mobile Battery Charger Project. That's it for today's episode of Thailand Today. We broadcast every Tuesday to Friday at 9 p.m. on NBT World and live on YouTube. I'm Michael Neal. Mm -hmm. So what do you have?